Hey guys, it's Dustin here with Jessica. We are outside in a state sale right now. We're the first people here. The ad had some pretty cool pictures, including kind of an off shot of some vintage He-Man stuff. No clue if we'll actually get that, but we're definitely putting our, uh, our best foot forward on trying to get that. So guys, we got the Ikea bags. I know you guys love those. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Are we on film? We, we do have a YouTube channel. Oh, just fun. Of buying stuff, yeah. yeah. Am I coming out there with you? Yeah. Little things specifically. Here we go. We get, if you want to buy it to flip, then buy it to flip. Um, we've got vintage half guns here. These are kind of cool. And then, yeah, this looks like the. The lighting is not the best. What do you? It's like this rotato. I remember like this on TV. different than the blue corn flour. This is maple corning though. What's that? I that? There's a uh, down there. There's more. Oh. So we need to fix, uh, She's got a holding space, yeah. Uh, Don't trip her on my bag. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got another one. Well, they're cold because they're out of here. Check them. One has a B, one has an A, but that's kind of in a pretty condition. And that's rough. And this has a, a I don't want that's rough too. Yeah, I don't I'd probably get on them. I 
just don't want I'm just making another block. No, you're good. Yeah. Kind of neat. Oh, bingo set. Huh, that's fun. It's a uh, Tupperware. Oh, no, that's rubber made. Oh. Mark. I saw that. And that's the same set down there. And this is probably a hole. That's a hole. Yeah, yeah, that's hole. Do you have 50 for everything? How much? 50? Oh, yeah. Okay. You got the money there? I got the money. Okay, I'm gonna load back up here. Cool, thank you very much. Do you wanna? Oh yeah, we'll put that. So that was a one day sale where they're just trying to get rid of as much as they can, fast as they can. So we managed to get uh, both of those Ikea bags. One of the bags is just holding like one uh, wannabe corning. Well, it wasn't wannabe, it was actually corning wear and uh, a quilt. But the other bag was pretty stuffed full. Two corning wares. And yeah, so really happy with how that went for 50 bucks for all of it. We're gonna go and hit a thrift store and all of that because why not? And hopefully we can get this video out for Sunday, because this is Saturday. And yeah, just like I said, guys, we're gonna run into this Goodwill real quick. We just got done with that estate sale, so we're on a buying high, and we're gonna see if we can follow it up with some more junk. Yeah, that's been here for a little while. No. We got a large. That'd be cool. No, we just got one of these. Two ninety nine. I'll buy that. It's in better condition than the other one we got from yesterday. Yeah, that's a good primary color mixing bowl. We got Blops two right here for two ninety nine, and then we get some Wee. That's nothing. Okay. La Noir. But it's case, I don't know if it's no case. The trivet. Oh, this is. What do you think? This is made in Spain, Severin collection. It's enamelware. So that's put in a cart. Yeah, yeah, definitely. For sure. And then, so that's a $7.99. That's pretty much safe. Right here, I'm pretty sure. And then this we'll have to look up because I'm not really Southampton collection. Um, over in the media, we did find the leather. We just got a couple sealed copies of GTA 5. Little well, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. So that's pretty solid. I eh, it'll play. I'm pretty sure. Love this game on PC. Play 12 with manual as well. So these games right here are $2.99 a piece. So is Black Ops 3. This is probably a good 18 bucks, 20 bucks. So this is a solid. And we're fine at three bucks there. These are like 12 bucks that are kind of like right on the cusp. But I don't think we're gonna have a problem selling them. So we'll go ahead and pick them up since we're already here and they're easy lists, easy ships, and just likes easy lists. We are gonna put GTA 5 back here. Uh, the PS3 version's like two generations old now, and there's been updates on the PS4, PS5. So the value on this isn't that heavy. But this is like loaded, right? And then how much think, do these go for? I don't think, some of those are empty. These are sealed. Oh, well, some of them I guess are sealed. But some of them, the one I pulled out was empty. So like, what do these go for? This is the things you gotta check. Because if these go for a chunk, then it doesn't matter. You just scan it. And then we look for new, and we have uh, seven of them. 25 for So two? you're telling me we got 40 worth here, and then we've got seven of these. 
So we have seven of these. So this is another $25. And then even if this unit doesn't work, we just part everything out. Such a good thing I picked up then. I'm the one that like, said you should, you should buy that, so just saying. That basically means I found it. Mm. Super villain. Super Wilton. Oh. <laughs> I thought it said super villain. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> yeah. I am not the super villain. Just a villain. What do you think about this Peloton bottle? It's like a glass one. This is like before my time, obviously. Wait, wait, wait. But there's supposed to be 23 Purchase moving figures. For $6.98. We're buying it for $5.99. <laughs> inflation, what inflation? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here is. Okay, all the players are in there. I mean, I'm guessing. That looks like 23 figures. Good little box. So yeah, definitely, I think, even with the top missing on this, for five bucks, I think we're pretty 50. solid. That's what I would say. Paramedic thing here at $4.99. It looks like it's all in there, so that's pretty cool. We got ourselves a cart full. I think that went really well at the thrift store. So we had one really good estate sale, one really good thrift store experience. We'll let the ambulance pass here. Ambulance. And we're going to go get breakfast. So that's going to be our thing now. All right, guys. So we're at this next thrift store here. We pretty much killed it at the estate sale and at that um, last Goodwill. So let's see what we can find in here. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, yeah. They were AV. Uh, they were AV? Yeah. Not for weed. Uh -uh. So we'd seen these in the backdrop of the video and I was like, oh, were those the weird whatever component cables? Because the ones with five cords and not three cords like this are always more valuable but this was just like a regular av to av thing so these go to uh xbox, xbox but this is like the old xbox that i don't even like to buy but i think we have some do we have some of them so we need it uh, well because there's a xbox 360 the original model doesn't do hdmi so you actually need these cables for I those i think i know that we have some that we haven't done anything with okay so. if you think we need to grab those that's fine there's a to go i home <laughs> yeah if you think we need those that's that's fine by me five bucks yeah you want it yep all right all right guys so i ordered a game from gamestop and I want to see if they gave me an original case or not. This one's actually one I'm keeping for like a personal collection. I'll explain why it's kind of important that I got the original case. It's looking good so far. And yes. Yes. Because I was going to return it if I didn't get the original case. So this is actually pretty difficult to like find this. I didn't see any of these listed on eBay. Uh, this is by Larian Studios. They're the ones that recently did. Yeah, that's clean. They recently did Baldur's Gate 3, and I have a deluxe edition of that on order. I have two of them, one for investment, one to keep. 
this is going to go next to it. So I wanted to make sure this was complete. I doubt it came with a manual. Most Xbox One titles didn't. But this is the game Justin and I are getting into next. Also might have slipped this brand new Mario Wonder into the shopping cart as well. Because of course, you know, spending $60 to save $8 on uh, free shipping. Totally worth it, right? Hey guys, we're back in the barn. To be fair, that game I showed you guys on Xbox, uh, that we start playing that a little bit. It is Saturday. Gotta live a little bit. But we are back here now. 15 minutes later. No, I'm kidding. We yeah. played play for a little longer than that. But we have all this stuff here that we picked up in our two, well, three stops today. Yeah, we had three stops. So the estate sale, they gave us a pretty solid deal. If uh, somehow you guys come across the video, thank you very much for that. So we ended up with like this corningware. This isn't like the blue cornflower or anything, but it's still pretty nice and it's in good condition. Just did pick up the larger uh, blue cornflower there, which probably is the more desirable of the two. And then speaking of kind of like kitchen stuff, cause I know that's what everybody's here to see. <laughs> we've got uh, Revere wear here. It's a fair amount of Revere wear and we always take it in. So eventually we just make sets sell it that way you get enough pieces of it together which just isn't enough you can start posting like a 12 piece set or 16 piece set or whatever the big ones ask, do well on their own though and ask north of 100 yeah i mean it varies you can do that too you can put the bigger like stock pots and all that kind of stuff on there we just sold one for 40. uh this mr uh, potato perfect by mr coffee which is weird branding probably only gonna fetch like 20 ships so i don't know if we really should have picked that up, the star of the show definitely at that estate sale would probably be these He-Man figures. They're at least the most fun part of the estate sale for us. And I don't know, uh, we're probably, uh, uh, the picture. So they had this picture and it was just like He-Man in a bag and some arms behind them, some, you know, swole arms <laughs> there. And they're just uh, behind there. And I couldn't really tell exactly what figures there were, which kind of adds to the intrigue and the fun of it. And so I did manage to get back there and get the bag and super cool. Honestly, probably, I think this guy's the best uh, punching one. And I, I don't even know if they're all working exactly right. They certainly don't have their accessories. Like uh, Man at Arms has his chest plate there, but doesn't have any of like, there's no sword shields or anything here. So we're probably looking at like 10, 20, $30 each on these figures. Uh, so no crazy home runs, but still super cool. And I know Jess is tempted to list them because they're easy. And the, you know, that's kind of uh, the game plan. I gotta clean them first. We do have uh, the Pew Pew box here. Now this, I probably could have like lived without, honestly. I did pick it up, probably lot them together. There are a couple that have potential like the Texas Junior and stuff in there. So for 50 bucks, we got this. We got these Tonkas. These will probably go up on whatnot, honestly. Uh, that garage is kind of dark and I just grabbed a bag and chucked it in there. Um, but we ended up with the two Corningware pieces. Uh, I don't know if I really should have got these, but we'll do something with them. The He-Man and pots and the pans. pots and pans, the potato perfect, perfect. and the uh, quilt there. So the quilt's okay. I think it'll do fine. So I think overall it was a good deal and I really do appreciate the deal that they gave us. So we went over to the Goodwill after that, the one that was kind of close by and everything. And I think like right off the bat, we found this Pyrex bowl here. It's funny, two days in a row, we found the exact same yellow Pyrex mi uh, mixing bowl there. This one we paid $2.99 and it's in better shape than the one that we paid $5 for. So that's kind of nice. Honestly, I kind of paid up at that uh, one estate sale yesterday when it was $5 just because of condition. But I think this is definitely uh, a good deal. Then I did find some video games and I probably rambled about them already. Uh, we got Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Unreal Tournament, and uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. We're looking at like 12, 12 dollars on these two and probably like $18.99 to $19.99. He-Man's muscles are like big. Too many striations, they're too dirty. <laughs> they're hard to clean. Oh Lord. <laughs> Look, I mean, look. He-Man's gonna steal my girl. Look at all these, like, you can't get in there. Okay, okay. He won't steal me because he's too dirty. 
He ran too dirty. Oh, that's that's the reason. Not the not the, <laughs> not the bond of marriage. Oh, yeah, Anyways, too, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got this hydro flask here. So hydro flask got really popular, like right pre Stanley. I feel like it was the Trinity Cup last time. And it's still going very strong on eBay right now. So, I mean, that's probably going to be a good 30, 40 ish. It's the rubber straw variant. So, it's a little bit different. Uh, this Wild West playset, I love the Kmart sticker of 296 on it from back in the day. Super cool. Uh, Mr. Christmas Merry Ground. It is missing a piece here. So, I'm not sure how that's really going to affect value. But at five bucks, we went ahead and took the gamble. Uh, that paramedic set can be pretty solid as well. That vintage 70s deal there i thought probably one of the coolest things was getting this hot wheels scorcher double loop set there's like a sold for a new one for like 120. of course this isn't new and then there's a sold for a used one that went at auction so i mean we're gonna have to figure out where exactly in the middle there we're gonna ask for it and to buy it now we did end up with the tutor uh true action electric football game and just looked it up and what what do you think oh i think so uh 70 80 that and but that would be a shipped price guys so that's like with free shipping so i mean of course that's probably going to be and that's going to be a pain to pack up in comparison to like a video game uh, of course we got the hitachi dvd cam there and the big secret on this was that it came with all the sony dvdrs um sealed so you got like six of those sealed in there or seven so seven of those sealed that's gonna be 25 30 bucks right there then you sell the camera for 40 so you're you know gonna be coming out on top on that uh the buck rogers super cool just uh got the fossil wallet the 360 cables there as you saw at the end just a lot of super cool finds i rambled on way too long i'm gonna try and edit the crap out of this segment because I know the barn segments go like this, and I'm wanting them to go like that. So anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate the support, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.